Hi, I'm Pete with the Carter Museum, and I'm bringing you an episode of Cooped Up with the Carter in the Kitchen. Uh, I'm going to be making some cookies today, inspired by Otis Dozier's 1941 painting, Gathering Pecans. Dozier was part of a group of artists called the Dallas Nine, who helped define Texas's art to the nation in the 1930s and 40s. And this work was originally commissioned for a post office in Arlington, Texas as part of the Treasury Department's section of fine arts. This was a New Deal program offshoot, um, and the painting is really kind of typical of those kinds of public art commissions um, that the government was supporting. It depicts a regionally familiar scene of a family uh, gathering up pecans, and it's also a sort of celebration of shared American values of working the land and the land rewarding the, the people who work it. And um, it's one that I've always enjoyed because it reminds me of pecan trees in my neighborhood when I was growing up in Arlington. And um, it's got that look that uh, reminds me of those, you know, Coit Tower, WPA murals. And um, it's just one of my favorite things at the Carter is when you know, one work has this convergence of your own memories and American history and um, especially this sense of um, something specific to the way we live in North Texas. The other reason uh, I chose this work is because I've got a few cons to deal with. So let's give it a try. And it's a degree of difficulty that's a little bit higher than I would normally do for cookies, but I've got the time. And um, if I'm lucky, I will get a guest chef to help me with some of the later steps. So uh, part one of the recipe is to um, toast pecans. So I've shelled and chopped a cup and a half of pecans and I'm gonna toast them up now. You want the pecans to be lightly toasted, about four to five minutes in the butter should do the trick. One of the things you can do while you're toasting your pecans is mix your dry ingredients. So I've got two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch, a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking soda. And I'm mixing that with two and a quarter cups of flour. Once your pecans are toasted, you can move on to butter part two, which is to brown two sticks of butter. You're gonna melt the butter in a skillet and Stir it as it melts over a medium heat. Once your butter turns a nice golden brown color, you are going to remove it from the heat and pour it into your mixing bowl. Okay, so I've got my guest chef here helping me uh, with the next step in the recipe. Just call me Marty Chef. Marty Chef. Uh, so we put the butter in the mixer. Can you turn on the mixer, please? A little bit higher. Thanks. We're gonna add one cup of dark brown sugar. Nice. I dropped it 
No, that's okay. I think that. Do the next one. Great job. Now what? Dad? Okay, you now. You need to make the rules. We add two large eggs. Yeah! I love that part! <laughs> Let's do it a little faster. Okay, so now we're gonna add two and a quarter cups of flour. Mm. You stir it up while I pour it in. Let's mix it so that all the stuff on the bottom gets mixed around really good. I get that part. Definitely. You know what the next part is? What? I'm gonna pour it in the bowl. I'm gonna taste it. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. Okay, so this part, we gotta pour this in and mix it up with the spatula, okay? So I'm gonna pour it and you use the spatula to mix it all up together. First, let's add the pecans. Okay. I'm gonna pour them in. You stir it up. Like, these don't taste that good. <laughs> these are ones from our yard. I think they're gonna taste good once we bake them in the cookies. So this is what our cookie dough looks like now that all the ingredients are folded in. Um, we let a little time pass between <laughs> browning our butter and mixing all the ingredients, but if you do it right, it should be a little more liquid than this, um, which means that it's time for the hardest part of the recipe, which is it has to chill in the refrigerator for two hours before you can bake it. We let the cookie dough refrigerate overnight and took it out uh, early this morning to um, let it come back to room temperature. I'm joined by another guest chef. Now I got Chef Marty and Chef Franny to help me. So, we're gonna take this ice cream scoop and- Guess what, Dad? What? I do a kiss to Franny. That's very sweet. You wanna put the, a scoop right there on the- hmm. Try like that. You want to do one? Franny can do one. Franny can do one next. We're going to, can you press one of those right on the top? So after you scoop the cookie, take a pecan half. Uh oh. Sorry, babe, we can't have those yet. 
These are big cookies, but they're gonna be yummy. Careful. So we've got the oven preheated to 375, and we're gonna put them in for Are you talking to me? about nine minutes. No, I'm talking to the video. Okay, so these are our butter pecan cookies and we're going to eat them outside not just because we uh, started a small fire in the kitchen. You want to try one Marty? I'll take the big one. Got it. Here dad. What do you think? Good. You like the pecan tree? Cheers. Well, that was Butter Pecan Cookies, inspired by Gathering Pecans by Otis Dozier. Um, hope that uh, you are able to see some trees where you are, whether that's walking around your neighborhood or just cracking a window. Um, and uh, I'm going to be baking with pecans for the rest of my life, apparently. So. Hope to see you soon at the Carter. Take care.